In this video, we study about some basic terminology related to functions. We have already seen what are functions and we also have seen how do we differentiate between what is a function and which of the options or which of the statements is not a function. Now let's see what is some basic terminology related to functions in order to study the functions in detail. I have written three basic definitions related to functions. We will be studying these definitions with the help of some examples. So let's get started with some examples and then we'll revert back to the definitions part. Okay. So if I have two non-empty sets, how do we see the mapping of two non-empty sets? Let's see that. Suppose I have two non-empty sets and I write those sets as A and B. Now I have some elements in these sets also by chance which are associated with some rule with some elements of B. A has say four elements, one, two, three, four. B has say again four elements, five, six, seven, eight and they are associated with some rule say F and out of the association I came to know that there is already some correspondence or some mapping between these elements say 1 is associated with 5, 4 is associated with 6, 2 is associated with 7 and 3 is associated with 8. Now is this a function? First of all this should come into my mind. All the elements of the first set related good for it. All the elements of the first set are associated with the unique elements of the second set which we already saw in the previous video of functions that yes it is a function. Now the terminology I want to teach you with the help of this example is image pre-image. These are the two important terms that we need to know in the lieu of the topic of functions, image and pre-image. Now, moving back to the example, 1 has been associated with 5. So, I can say that the image of 1 is 5. Coming back, 2 has been associated with 7. So, I can say that the image of 2 is 7. 3 has been associated with 8. So I can say that the image of 3 is 8. Now do you get it? What is image? So basically the image is nothing but the second set elements which are associated with the first set elements. So image would be what? The set of second set elements and not all the set of second set elements but basically the set of second set elements associated associated with the first set elements and one must note one thing that the whole of the set is not an image. Individually, I have to say that the image of 1 is 5, the image of 2 is 7 and so on. So I mean to say that the image of, if I write this, the image of 1 is equal to what? The image of 1 is, what is it associated with? It is associated with 5, so it is 5. Similarly, if I say image of so image of 2 would be what? Image of 2 is 7. Image of 3 and image of 4. Let's check our knowledge. What did we understand? Image of 3. That means 3 is associated with what? It is associated with 8. And image of 4. That means 4 is associated with what? 4 is associated with 6. So this is the concept about image. Now the next term that we have is pre-image. As the name suggests that now you would be having what? You would be having what is the anti-relation or how did this image come from? So this 5 came from 1. 
this 6 came from 4, 7 came from 2 and 8 came from 3. So now having known what is image, let's write what is pre-image. So the pre-image of If I say the pre-image of 5, what is the pre-image of 5? It is 1. So the pre-image of 5 is equal to 1. Similarly, what is the pre-image of 6? It is 4. So the pre-image of 6 is 4. Now if I have the pre-image of 7, what is 7 associated with? 7 was associated with 2. So the pre-image of 7 is equal to 2. Now, what is the pre-image of 8? 8 was associated with 3. So, the pre-image of 8 is equal to 3. Now, in this example, we had seen what is pre-image and image. But, let's see, do we have always the elements of A and B set as equal in number? Not necessarily. Had this been another element 9 present in this set, then also it was a function because it followed the two basic conditions of function. Each element associated, yes, each element is associated of the first set. Unique elements should be there in B. Yes, unique association is there. Now, if the question is modified, if the example is modified as 9 here is there, Let's see what do we have some changes in the image and pre-image. Image of 1 is 5 again. Image of 2 is 7 again. Image of 3 is 8 again. Image of 4 is 6. There is no change in image. Talking about pre-image. Pre-image of 5. What has 5 come from? 5 has come from 1. Pre-image of 5 is 1. What has 6 come from? 6 has come from 4. Pre-image of 6 is 4. What has 7 come from? 7's pre-image is 2. What has 8 come from? 8 has come from 3. Till here the story didn't change. But what about 9? What is the pre-image of 9? 9 did not have any association. So I would just be saying that pre-image of 9 is equal to none because 9 does not have any pre-image. So the pre-image of 9 is none. Now having understood about image, about pre-image, let's see what do we have some information about the domain, codomain and range. First let's write down what is pre-image. The image was set of second set elements I told you before also that it is not necessarily available that I need to write the word set. The set can be taken or individually listing can be taken. So we just write second set elements. And here in the pre-image we write the first set elements. So it was the second set elements. Now we write the first set elements associated with the second set elements. Let's see what actually domain is, codomain is and range is. If you have understood the concept of pre-image and image, it is not difficult to understand domain, range and codomain. Let's see what is domain. For a function a to b, for a function a to b, a is called the domain of f, as simple as that. That means the whole of a is called as the domain. So here in this example, what is the domain? The domain is 1, 2, 3, 4. Because domain is nothing but the first set itself. So let's write domain. Domain is what? Domain is all the first set. 1, 2, 3 and 4. That means domain is the set A itself. Now, the next definition that is written over here is of codomain. Let's see what is codomain. 
for a function a to b for a function a to b b is called the codomain of f that means the second set b is called the codomain where is the second set this is the second set this whole set is called as the codomain so let's write what is the codomain codomain should be denoted by cd or c codomain is nothing but the second set so you can write all the elements of the second set right so it is 5 6 7 8 9 so i'll be writing here 5 6 7 8 9 9 9 and these 5 6 7 8 9 are what these are nothing but the b set that is the second set so this codomain is the second set next important one again is range let's see what is range the set of f images now i know what is image yes image is what image is what we enlisted here that is the second set elements the set of the second set elements of values of a that means the value of 1 is what value of 1 is 5 value of 2 is 7 and so on so range is nothing but that set of elements which have been associated second set elements which have been associated in codomain we did not see the association we just wrote all the second set elements but in the range what do we have to do we have to write all those elements of the second set only and only which have been associated let's see 5 6 7 8 they have one or the other pre image but 9 does not have so i would be writing range is only 5 6 7 and 8 that means only those elements of the second set which have some association with the first set i have also a very important note point written for you as you saw in this example range had elements 5 6 7 8 codomain also had elements 5 6 7 8 but one extra element that was 9 had this 9 not been there the range and codomain would have been equal so what do i infer i infer that the range and the codomain of any pair of a functions or set is basically what it is a subset relationship that means the range is either having the elements as equal to the codomain or few less so range is nothing but what it is the subset of codomain so in this video what did we see we saw some basic terminology of functions we saw what is image we saw what is pre image we saw what is range codomain and domain